Hey folks, it's Jason here, Old Car Auto Guy. We need to have a little bit of a chat. So stay tuned. So we are out in the garage tonight. Uh, we've got to get the garage cleaned up. And the reason why we've got to get it cleaned up is because my wife and I are making a trip to New York, upstate New York. It's about a 10 hour drive and we're gonna leave on Friday. And on Friday night, we're gonna meet up with Kip from America Bumper to Bumper. Him and I traveled to Pennsylvania over the summer and visited some of the bigger YouTubers and you guys can go back into uh, my videos and see those uh, on there. I'm gonna stop and have some supper with him. Before we get there, we're also gonna stop in New Hampshire at a place called Flying Wheels. Now Flying Wheels is another YouTube channel who does used car dealership content. And Craig there uh, is graciously going to accept us as visitors and give us a show around his lot and I'll make sure that I have some video on that for you as well. And uh, we're gonna stop in, say hi, and uh, then we're gonna go on to Kip's place on Friday night, spend the night in Rutland, Vermont, and then travel on uh, to New York, New York, which is gonna be about a two and a half hour drive from Rutland. And we're gonna pick up this new project. I've gotta make room in my garage to fit this project. And no, I'm not telling you what the project is until I get it. In the meantime, we've got lots to clean up here in the shop. I've got tools and I've got parts and I've got cars and mowers and projects all over the place. You will also see the remnants of Project Bubbles. This was the only piece that came off intact on the whole vehicle. And the only damage it suffered was a bent license plate. We've also got Project Wall Art, something that we're gonna be working towards over the winter on finishing that up. So the idea was to wallpaper the wall with license plates, which I'm still waiting for some of you guys to commit to sending me some spare license plates that you may have. Because we want to fill as much of this wall as possible. The point of doing that is so that we can take this front clip that I've painted and started to put together and mount it on top of the license plates. The only thing I'm missing here is a grill out of a 7879 Chrysler Cordoba. That will finish this part of the project. Once again, if you've got a grill for a 7879 Chrysler Cordoba, DM me on Instagram, Old Car Auto Guy, or find me on Facebook. Anyways, we've got to get the garage cleaned up, make room for this new project, so we're going to do that to some music. Well there, at least now we've got some room. I think we could fit a whole nother vehicle in here and still have a little bit of room to work on it. What do you guys think? But right now we've got to have a little bit of a talk. So let's get comfortable. If you guys are following me on Instagram, you'll notice that all this week I've been posting things about something big coming to the channel. And I'm not lying. This is not clickbait. This is not uh, somebody stole grandma video. This is a legitimate concern that I have for my channel. Right up until this point, I have focused all my attention on the operations of the car dealership, uh, my Chrysler Cordoba, Project Bubbles, Project Grandma, and now the upcoming uh, Volkswagen Passat that we're calling the Grey Goose. I don't think I need another project, but having said that, I've got one uh, that I've committed to and we are going to upstate New York to get that project. 
This, this project that I'm committing to, that I'm not telling you guys what it is, is something that I've wanted for a long time. It's also something that has such a cult following that I had to make a decision whether I was going to focus my channel on just projects and kind of steer away from the dealership or continue what I'm doing now more focused on the dealership and start a second channel solely for the projects and I thought to myself you know what it took me so long to get to these 2170 subscribers plus that I have right now that I'm not willing to throw that away just yet so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the dynamic of the channel just a little bit and by that I mean we're gonna focus it basically on the projects that I've been working on on this channel we've got a long ways to go with project grandma there's a lot that I'd like to do to that the Chrysler Cordoba is a project that is never done. It's something that I'll always be able to putter away at. And the Grey Goose, the Volkswagen Passat, well, that's just a winter beater, fun little project that at the end of the day, once I get everything fixed on it, it's likely going to be a vehicle that my wife will drive for the winter. And uh, we'll figure out what we're gonna do in the spring. But this project that I'm talking about right now that I think will likely change the dynamic of this channel and the direction in which it's going is something that I think I can see growing the channel immensely and it doesn't come cheap this project that I'm going to look at I'm not hundred percent sold on yet I've made the decision to make the drive to upstate New York I've made the decision to spend the hundred and twenty five dollars US which is about 160 something dollars in Canadian to get the paperwork done in the off chance or in the likely chance that I do buy this project. It is a vehicle, so it has to be imported at Canada Customs and there's a process to go through. But because it's over 25 years old, because it's over 30 years old, Actually, you know what? It's over 40 years old. Um, it's a simpler process than a newer vehicle, but nonetheless, I had to commit that. It's going to take me a day to get there and a day to get home with uh, two hotel room stays in between. The trip is not going to be totally wasted because I do get to see Craig from Flying Wheels and Kip from America Bumper to Bumper. But if I come home empty handed, there's a lot of money, a lot of expense put out on taking this chance on moving uh, my channel in this direction so I'm hoping that it is what you guys want to see because if it is that means my channel is going to grow uh, if it's not then at the end of the day I've got a project that I can work on on something that I've always wanted I've got the money on hand I've changed my Canadian money to US currency uh, this afternoon and, uh, and that was an expense. If I don't buy this vehicle and I, and I come home with this American money, I've got to switch that back at a loss likely because you don't buy American money for the same price you sell it at. At the end of the day, I need you guys to tell me down in the comment section if you're okay with me taking a chance in moving in this direction. And just to be clear, the direction is moving away from focusing on the dealership to focusing on the projects. They're all automotive projects. And this new one, like I said, you're not gonna be disappointed, but I do wanna leave it as a surprise. So you're watching this video on Saturday morning or sometime on the weekend, while I'm actually on my way to New York and on my way back. And Tuesday's upload, hopefully, I will have some footage for you that A, let you know whether I bought the project, B, if I did buy it, what it was, and C, the official off the beaten path, the change of direction. I almost say off the beaten path. There's lots of guys out there on YouTube doing it. Anyways, 
I don't want to make this a whole talking video of me just sitting here drinking a beer and uh, explaining my woes to you guys. At the end of the day, I want to change the direction. I hope you guys are happy with it. You're not going to be disappointed with the project. There's a few of you out there who kind of already know what it is, some of my uh, close friends. At the, uh, at the beginning of the next video, I'm going to be laying hints. And as we get going on to the video, you'll understand why I kept it such a secret. Anyways, having said all this, guys, I want you to make sure, if you haven't yet seen the Demise of Bubbles video, the, the one where I blew up my Kia Sportage and that bumper being the only thing left recognizable. That video is going to be right here. And I want you to go and take a look at it. Let me know what you think. And if you like it, you're going to like it. I know you are. Share it with your friends because that's how we're going to grow this channel. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys. God bless. We'll see you with the new project in the next video.